Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. The sampling distribution of sample mean. Then we have this problem. So samples of 3 cards are drawn from a population of 5 cards numbered from 1 to 5. Then how many are the possible outcomes? So to solve for this problem, we're going to use this formula. The N, choose R where n is the population size since population of 5 cards so therefore n is equal to 5 and r for the sample size since samples of 3 cards so r is equal to 3 then to solve now for this problem so from this formula so n is equal to 5 then choose r r is equal to 3. So using calculator, so we have 5, then NCR, so this one is NCR, so that's 5 choose 3, equal, so therefore the possible outcomes is equal to 10. So this one is equal to 10. Then to solve for this problem, so what are the possible means? So to find the possible means of this population of 5 cards numbered 1 to 5 then samples of 3 cards so we need to list all the samples so take note that we have 10 possible outcomes so therefore we have 10 possible samples so again from this card numbered 1 to 5 so we need to pick 3 cards so we can have 1 to 3 so take note that 1, 2, 3 is equal to 3, 1, 2. Also equal to 2, 3, 1. So again, for example, is 1, 2, 3. Then you can have 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 5. 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, 5. 1, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 5. 2, 4, 5. And the last one. 3, 4, 5. So these are the 10 samples. Then to solve for the sample mean, we just need to add these 3 numbers and divide by 3 because we're adding 3 numbers. So we can have 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals then divide by 3 to solve for the sample mean. So this one is equal to 2. Then for this 1 plus 2 plus 4, this one is 7. So 7 divided by 3, that's 2.33. Then 1 plus 2, that's 3, plus 5, this one is 8. So 8 divided by 3, that's 2.67. Then 1 plus 3, that's 4. 4 plus 4, that's 8. So therefore, this one is 2.67. 1 plus 3, that's 4. 4 plus 5, that's 9. And 9 divided by 3, this one is 3. 1 plus 4, that's 5. 5 plus 5, that's 10. And 10 divided by 3, that's 3.33. This one is 9, so this one is 3. 10, so 3.33. 2 plus 4 plus 5, this one is 11. 11 divided by 3. That's 3.67. 3 plus 4, that's 7. 7 plus 5, that's 12. And 12 divided by 3, this one is 4. So therefore, these are the possible means. Then for this problem, so what are the probability of getting 4 as a mean? So from the sample means, again, we need to list all the sample mean. So we can have 2. 2.33, 2.67, we have 3, 3.33, 3.67, and 4. So these are the sample mean. Then for the probability of sample mean equals to 2, since we only have 1 out of 10 samples, so therefore the probability is 1 over 10. Then for this 2.33, since we only have 1 
out of 10, so that's 1 over 10. For 2.67, so we have 2, 2.67, so that's 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. And for uh, sample mean equals to 3, so we have 2, so therefore that's 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. For sample mean equals to 3.33, so we have 2, so that's 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. For 3.67, we have only 1, so that's 1 over 10. And for 4, we only have 1, so that's also 1 over 10. So therefore, the probability of getting 4 as a mean, that's 1 over 10. Or in decimal, this one is 0 0.1. Then probability of getting 2 as a mean, so this one is 2, so the probability is 1 over 10 or 0 0.1. Then probability of getting 3.3 .3 as a mean, so 3.3, .3, so the probability is 1 over 5 or in decimal, that's 0 0.2.